Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Changing the settings in Microsoft Edge allows you to change the appearance, functionality, and features of the program. To access the settings in Microsoft Edge, click the More Actions button at the right end of the command bar at the top of the Microsoft Edge window to open a flyout pane. Then click the Settings command in the pane to display a settings pane at the right side of the window. Like the hub, you can pin the settings pane open by clicking the Pin This Pane button, which looks like a push pin, in the upper right corner of the settings pane. If you pin the pane open, you must click the Close This Pane button, which looks like an X in the upper right corner of the pane, to close it when you are finished. If you do not pin the pane open, it will close automatically when you click away from the pane or switch windows. In the Settings pane, you can select either a dark or light theme for Microsoft Edge by choosing either dark or light from the Choose a Theme drop-down. To toggle the display of the Favorites bar on or off, click the Show the Favorites bar toggle to set it to either the on or off position. When enabled, the Favorites bar lists links you have set as favorites and saved into the Favorites bar folder. You can then easily click the links in the bar to open your favorite web pages. You can click the Import Favorites from another browser link to open an Import Favorites pane in the Settings pane. Here you can check the checkbox next to the name of any installed browser from which you want to import the favorites or bookmarks. Ensure there is a check next to the name of the desired browser and then click the import button to import the favorites. If you choose not to import any favorites, you can click the double left pointing arrows in the upper left corner of the pane to return to the main settings pane. To change the page shown when you start Microsoft Edge, select an option button in the open with list. Your choices are start page, new tab page, previous pages, or a specific page or pages. If you select a specific page or pages, then use the drop-down to select either MSN, Bing, or Custom. If you select the Custom choice, enter the URL of the web page you want to display into the Enter a Web Address field, and then click the adjacent Add button, which looks like a plus sign, to add it into the list above. Any pages within this list will be opened when you open a new Microsoft Edge window. You can then delete any previous entry, which is often the default About colon Start page, by simply clicking the Remove button at the right end of the web page address shown. To change the content shown on new tabs when you open them, make a choice from the Open New Tabs with drop-down. Choices include Top Sites and Suggested Content, Top Sites, or a blank page. To clear browsing data, click the Choose What to Clear button under the Clear Browsing Data label to open a Clear Browsing Data pane. Then check the checkbox next to the type of browsing data that you want to clear. To view more options, you can click the Show More link at the bottom of the checkboxes to expand the list. You can click the Show Less link at that point to hide the additional browsing data checkboxes if desired. After selecting the browsing data you want to delete, click the Clear button in this pane to clear the selected browsing data. If you choose not to clear any data, you can click the double left pointing arrows in the upper left corner of the pane to return to the main settings pane. In the reading section of the settings pane, you can set the appearance and font size used by the reading view within Microsoft Edge. Use the reading view style drop-down to select a default reading view style to use. Then select the size of the font to use for reading view by making a choice from the reading view font size drop-down. To view the advanced settings pane, Click the View Advanced Settings button under the Advanced Settings section at the bottom of the Settings pane. You can then return to the main Settings pane from the Advanced Settings pane by clicking the double left pointing arrows in the upper left corner of the pane when you are finished. The Advanced Settings of Microsoft Edge will be discussed in a separate lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.